all dressed up to be in my bedroom for a video. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming a video. Why do I why do I start like that? Today I'm filming a video. Obviously you're filming a video because everyone can see I'm filming. <laughs> my brain is mush. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a good day evening, afternoon, morning, whatever time of day it is where you're watching this. Today I am filming the one and only Disney tag. So this was created by my gorgeous friend Ashlyn and I'm gonna tag, I'm gonna tag, I'm gonna leave her link in the description down below so you can go check out her video and her channel because I love her and I love her videos and I'd highly recommend that you subscribe. So she's created this one and only Disney tag essentially where you pick the park and then you are only allowed to do one thing from each of the 10 categories and I've got the questions here on my notebook. I'm pretty sure I have the best notebook ever. So if I keep looking down, that's why. So the park that I'm gonna pick is Disneyland Paris because it's my home park. It's the park I've visited most frequently and I feel like I should give it some love. So I'm gonna leave all the 10 questions slash categories or whatever down below so you can join in. And if you would like, you could film this video yourself because it's really fun and actually kind of really difficult. <laughs> so the first one is hotel. So the hotel that I would stay in if it was this dream trip to Disneyland Paris would be the Disneyland Hotel. If you've not been to Disneyland Paris, essentially the Disneyland Hotel is the entrance to Disneyland Paris. You walk underneath it to get into the park and it is just stunning. The exterior of that building is so beautiful. I love the smell of the Disneyland Hotel. It's kind of got this weird old smell. Some people really don't like it. I really like it. Lauren and I love walking through the Disneyland Hotel whenever we go to Disneyland Paris. It's just a weird tradition now that we have to go into the Disneyland Hotel, through the Disneyland Hotel to get to the annual pass entrance i don't know why it's just something that we've done so i'd have to stay there it's mega expensive i probably won't ever be able to afford it but yeah it is a dream to stay there just to, for the convenience of being able to leave the park and just go straight to your hotel without getting a train or walking you just leave the park and walk into your hotel it would be perfect so the next one is meal so this is a table service meal not quick service so i've picked auberge de saint jolon if that's how you pronounce it, I apologise. So essentially, that's the castle restaurant at Disneyland Paris. I have been to Auberge once and the experience that we had was so phenomenal and so great that I would definitely go back. It's mega expensive, again, but if this is like my one and only choice, if I had like unlimited money, I guess, I would, I would go there every time. You get to meet princesses, so you meet four princesses. They're not guaranteed which ones, but when we went last time we met Rapunzel, Ariel, Snow White and Cinderella. You also meet Susie and Perla because it's Cinderella themed restaurant. So Susie and Perla are in there, which is really cool because I guess you can't really meet them. Well, you can in Disneyland Paris, they're quite often out, but in other parks, they're like rare characters. Yeah, I just think it's really cute in there. I really like it. The characters spend a lot of time with you, or at least that experience we had. And there's vegetarian options. So for me, it's pretty perfect. I just think it's a really cute restaurant and I love meeting the princesses and having a chat to them, taking really cute pictures and yeah i definitely go there again so the next one is snack and ashton's put quick service or food stand and this is like literally so hard but i've narrowed it down to two this might be cheating and ashton if you're watching i'm really sorry if we're talking about the quick service i would have to go to fuente del oro which is a mexican restaurant it used to be coco themed it's not coco themed anymore it's just a restaurant they used to do the best loaded fries in the world they took them off the menu <laughs> yeah and uh, they replaced them with loaded nachos instead, which are good, but they're not they're not as good as the fries. I like going in there for the veggie chili. It is delicious, so good. I could eat that every day, to be honest. And then the other one that I'm tossed up between is the pineapple float that you can get in Adventureland. There's like a little car. It's not all year round because Paris gets cold. And so they're not gonna serve ice cream all year round, but essentially it is literally just vanilla soft serve ice cream with pineapple juice. It's so simple, but it's so refreshing and so good. And I crave them all the time, mainly because I love pineapple. I could probably make it at home, but I miss that. But if I had to pick one, I'd probably say Fuente because if you watch my vlogs, I go there every trip. So Fuente del Oro for the vegetable chili. So the next one is rest spot. So essentially somewhere that you would sit to people watch or just chill out and relax. I think my favorite place to sit and relax and just chill for a little bit and people watch is definitely the arcade, either 
side of Main Street. If you've not been to Paris, you've got Main Street running down the middle, obviously, towards the castle, and then you've got the shops along the side before you get to Main Street, so before you turn the corner. And then on the left and the right hand side, there are two walkways, which are the arcades, and there's benches in there, there's toilets in there, there's water fountains in there, and they all have doorways into the shops or different restaurants along Main Street. I love sitting in there, it's really nice. It often gets busy, but when it's quiet, it's nice. It's nice to watch people walking through. It's a quicker way to walk to somewhere because normally Main Street is very busy. So you can just walk through and get to your destination quicker. I just love the arcades. They're just so nice. I don't know why I like sitting in there. To my knowledge, no other Disney parks have it. I know the American parks don't, but I'm not sure about the Asian parks. I've not been, but so I apologize if that's wrong, but I love the arcades in Disneyland Paris. The next one is ride and the fact that i have to only pick one ride really upsets me it took me a very very long time in ashton's video she tossed up between two rides and then picked her one i think if i was picking between two it would be hyperspace mountain that's my favorite ride however it would give me a headache if i could only go on that so <laughs> the other ride is phantom manor i love the exterior of phantom manor i love the new phantom manor they did an update on phantom manor and now it's just even better than before. I love it so much. I would go on that all the time. It's just great. I know a lot of people don't like rides like the Haunted Mansion and stuff. They say it's very boring, but I find it very, very good. Very, very good. I really like it. That's what I'm trying to say. So the next category is character interaction. So this is really difficult because the thing with Paris is there are a limited number of set meets. So unlike say Walt Disney World and Disneyland Resort, they have a lot more set character meets. Whereas Paris, they have a certain number of set character meets and then they have a lot of random character meets like surprise meets. That's my favorite thing about Paris, the surprise meets, the sort of anticipation of like, who's it gonna be today? I love that, I really do. But if I had to pick one that's kind of usually there at most times of year because again they switch out the characters at the different seasons so halloween and christmas but if i had to pick one it would probably be donald because i love meeting donald i love meeting him most i think every trip i go on to disneyland paris pretty much we meet him he's just so fun he's my favorite of the fab five if you didn't know that and i love him so much he's just so cute i'd also pick to meet rapunzel but she's not a set meet she could be in the princess pavilion but queuing like an hour and a half to meet a princess in there is stress and I don't like it. It's not my favorite meeting location. Paris really need to change that situation because it's just, you queue however long for one princess. Whereas when we went to Disneyland Resort, both times we queued for less than 10 minutes and we met three. Yeah, I don't like that, but I would pick Donald because Donald is the best and I love Donald so much. And yeah. So the next category is nighttime entertainment. I hate Disneyland Paris's nighttime fireworks illuminations. I think they are crap. I'm really sorry for anyone watching this who loves that show. I really am, but I just don't like them. I don't think they're very good. I don't, there's not like any flow of anything. It's just like, the, like the projections are very, very well done. Do you know what I mean? Like they're very good. And the fireworks are obviously like amazing, but it just doesn't go together for me. The thing for me with fireworks at Disney, the music has to be emotional and it has to like hit me in the heart. And I don't feel anything when I watch that show. I'm not waiting around for it ever. If you watch my vlogs and a lot of people are like why don't you stay for the fireworks simply i don't like them so for nighttime entertainment at disneyland paris there isn't really anything else they've had star wars fireworks at for star wars seasons they had some sort of christmas show i can't remember what it was called in studios park but i'm not i'm just not keen on the nighttime entertainment at disneyland paris to be quite honest i'd have to say my night my night time i can't say night time my nighttime entertainment at Disneyland Paris would be leaving the parks early to go get an early night ready for an early morning the next day. So the next category is photo spots. If you had to pick one photo spot to take photos at in Disneyland Paris. So personally, I think Paris is a absolutely stunning park. There are so many beautiful things about it, but I'm gonna be really basic and say Sleeping Beauty Castle. In my opinion, the Paris castle is the most gorgeous castle. It is just stunning and you you can't really take a bad photo there. Whatever angle you take, it's gorgeous. One of my favorite places to take photos up in Paris is there's like a, so you stand in front of the castle, there's, if you go left, there's like a little, I don't really know what to call it, a little section that's closer to the castle where less people go. It's now become like a really big Instagram tip if you wanna take nice photos of the castle, but I'm gonna say it again, it is a nice place to take the castle. Take the castle? 
take photos of the castle because you're gonna get less people in the background. You can angle it so it looks like there's nobody in the park. It's amazing. I just think Sleeping Beauty Castle is phenomenal. To be honest, I think every trip I've gone, I take a castle photo. So every time on Instagram, it's like, here I am again, here I am again. I probably should find new places to take photos, but I don't want to. So the next category is show. So again, Disney and Paris don't necessarily have that many shows. They have Mickey and the Magician, which is fantastic. I love that show. And that possibly is the one I'm gonna pick. But with Disneyland Paris, they have a lot of seasonal stuff. Do parades count as shows? I'm gonna say yes. Ashlyn might be like, no, it doesn't count. But I'm saying parades count as shows because Disney Stars and Parade, if, if it's parades count, Disney Stars and Parade is the one I'm choosing because I watch that every single day that I can on a trip. Me and Lauren love it. We love the character interactions. We love that it is the same parade every day, but it is different every day. It's just so good. So good i love the song i love stars and parade also i love the princess starlet waltz i love that but that's not on at the moment or well nothing's on at the moment but, hey. but i think if i could choose one it would be disney stars and parade and if that doesn't count then mickey and the magician so the last category in this tag is souvenir so one thing that you would take home from a trip and the thing i would always take home from any trip to any disney park is a pin i always take home pins i love pins i have a bit of an obsession with pins lauren does as well every time we, we're there we go into the shops we look at all the new pins we decide if we want them we decide if we need them then we say it doesn't matter if we need them because we want them and then we buy them so yeah every trip i think i've gone to i will buy at least one pin it will always be pins i don't really buy anything else i can't even think of the last thing i bought at disneyland paris that wasn't a pin Okay, so that is all the questions in the tag. I really enjoyed doing that. Thank you so much, Ashlyn, for tagging me. Please make sure you go check out her video because it is a lot of fun and I really loved hearing her answers for Disneyland Resort because that's her home park and the one she's visited most. I'm gonna tag anybody who is watching this who wants to do it. I would highly recommend it. I'm leaving the questions down there for you. If you do do it, please let me know and I'll make sure to watch it. This was just so much fun. I enjoyed it. So thank you, Ashlyn, again. And thank you everyone for watching if you made it to the end. Please make sure to like this video. It really helps me out leave any comments that you have any questions anything that you want to say please make sure to subscribe to my channel i'm uploading videos weekly at the moment which is ah, hooray i'm actually having time to film and edit and i've got some motivation which is really good also if there's anything you really want to see from me please let me know but until then i will see you next week bye